Hey ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Today we have this pair of Allen Edmonds dress shoes sent to us from Daniel in California. Guys, I'm curious about your professional opinion on something. I'm looking to add something to the soles of this pair of Allen Edmonds shoes to make them slip resistant for the restaurant that I work in. The typical shoe offered for restaurant use is very poor quality and they wear out quickly. So I'm looking to get something higher quality with a sole that is safe for restaurant use. Well, Daniel, we have you covered and we're going to take care of that problem for you right now. So let's get to it. Okay, it's uh, it's everybody's favorite time. It is time to put a little hot cork inside this shoe. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point out before we start doing that. So I get a lot of comments from you guys asking why we don't put it in the little can like we used to do it. Uh, well, it comes in these long plastic tubes and uh, then they are put inside of like a five gallon bucket. And anytime we would take them out of these tubes and put it inside that little can, the air gets to it and it dries it out really quickly. And when it dries out, I'm out of a lot of money because this stuff's not cheap. So that's why we just decided let's just keep them inside their little tubes and we put them back inside the gut bucket, put the lid on it, keeps the air out. So I hope that answers your question. Okay guys, so I'm going to let the cork set up and dry on this pair of shoes. It takes a little while. Uh, and while that's happening, let me just, let me ask all of you guys a question out there. How many of you are like me uh, in that you cannot stand when you have a dress collar on, whether it's a polo, a dress shirt, and the collar's just drooping all over the place? I can't stand it. I like my collars to be nice and stand up and, and firm. And uh, guys, that is one reason that I'm a big fan of today's video sponsor, Collars & Co. So guys, the great thing about Collar & Co polos is that, again, you're getting this really stiff collar that stays up. So whether you want to wear it as just a polo by itself or with a blazer, these polos are the way to go. Dress shirts are uncomfortable, hot, sweaty, and they can be a pain to put under a sweater. Get the look of a dress shirt without the dress shirt. Dress collar polos give you the same look under a sweater, but they're much more comfortable. Collar & Co shirts are also great for travel and they are wrinkle resistant. Forbes magazine said Collars & Co is changing the shirting industry and they have been featured in numerous magazines. Guys, this brand has also been featured on Shark Tank and it's the brand that Mark Cuban himself invested $1 million in. Now guys, one of the things that I really like about this company is when you go onto their website, you also get to choose the collars. So you can choose between a spread collar, a button down, and there's several others as well. And that's something that I really like, especially when I'm wanting to wear it with a blazer. Now guys, Father's Day is also just right around the corner. So if you're looking for a great Father's Day gift, check out Collars & Co. Now guys, you can save yourself a little bit of money on these by using the link down below, or you can go to collarsandco.com forward slash Trent and use the discount code Trent for a special limited time discount. Since this is a kitchen shoe, it's gonna be a lot around a lot of heat, a lot of grease, and so for that, we're gonna use a certain type of primer on the sole and the midsole.
right, so these are dress shoes. He has to use these in a restaurant. And so we don't want it to be real bulky, but because this sole is flat, we actually have to turn this into a wedge versus a really kind of chiseled 90 degree uh, defined heel. But we don't want the wedge to be real thick. So we're gonna go with two layers of this and we're gonna stick that and then sand it down. All right, so this is what it looks like, but we're actually gonna sand this down until it actually makes a nice transition into the sole up here, giving it a big flat surface and allow us to put the sole on. Okay, so we have the soles put on here. Now we just have to get them trimmed up a little bit, sanded down, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and polish the uppers and we will be done with this project. Hey, before we go any further though, if you would, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying this content and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. All right, let's go. We're done with the resole. Now it's time to show the uppers a little love. So we're gonna throw on some conditioner, a little renovateur, and then we're gonna put a little cream polish on there, put the color back into the shoes, and then we're, we're all done with this project. So let's get to it. for a little color. We're done with this pair of uh, Allen Edmond shoes for Daniel. Guys, before we show you what they look like now, just a couple of quick reminders. As always, check us out, potterandsons.com as well as southernpolish.com. Guys, if you were looking for new flip-flop sandals for this year, check us out at southernpolish.com. Link will be down below. Also, check out Collars & Co. Father's Day's coming up, so check them out as well. All right, Daniel, here's what your shoes look like now. All right, as you can see, this was a pretty straightforward research. So quite easy, kept the same well, just replaced the cork. And instead of going with a defined heel, we just went with a wedge made out of a foam to give a little bit more shock absorbent because he's on his feet all day in the restaurant and you're in the kitchen, there's grease. So we put on a Vibram, it's a non-slip. It's actually designed it's for, resistant. yeah, it's all resistant. It's actually designed for a lot of people in the restaurant business. Mm -hmm. We put that on, kind of gives that minimalistic look. So it's a dress shoe, but it also dows it down a little bit, but it's gonna, I think it's gonna look good, yeah. turn out good. So, you know, a lot of guys, when you're in the kitchen, you get those cheap shoes, you throw on, you throw them out a couple months later. But Daniel, good on you for going after the good quality pair of shoes that you can have resold over and over again. These are going to hold up and, uh, you know, serve them well. Serve them well. All right, guys, that's it. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, y'all have a good one.